So welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. Today we are talking about another update to the game. We're talking about the 31st of March squad update. Now this update removes a few players, adds a few players, and also updates some player stats. So as usual, I'm going to be going over the main highlights. Now if you want to know all the latest FIFA 20 news and updates, this is the right spot. Make sure you subscribe today if you're new. We've got 76.2% of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. So do yourselves a favor, subscribe today so you don't miss anything. If you're looking for a great gift idea, why not buy some Real Life Ultimate Team cards? Check out my link in the description and use my affiliate code VAPEX for 5% off. So first things first, let's take a look at the players that get removed from this update. I wouldn't be too worried about losing any good players here. I don't think there's anything to worry about, but there's two interesting players that you might have heard of, and we're going to talk about them soon. But the first player today is Manuel Inseralde. I probably say all these names wrong, but bear with me. You guys know by now my nickname is The Butcher because I butcher everyone's last names. So this guy plays for Universidad Católica del Ecuador. 20 years old as a midfielder, and he's got an overall of 65, potential of 79, which is not too bad. Next up, we have Idris El Mizuni from Ipswich Town, 18 years old as a midfielder. This guy has an overall of 57 and a potential of 77. This guy, you might remember him. He was a beast, I think, in FIFA 12, FIFA 13. I can't remember. It was one of those ultimate teams. His name is Saidu Dumbia. FC Sion was the team he was playing for, 31 years old and a striker. He's still pretty young. I thought he was older, but 31's not too bad. Anyway, he had an overall of 71 and a potential of 71. And uh, let's see his pace. Still had the pace, but the finishing was not there anymore. And uh, let's move on to the next guy, Alexandre Song. I believe this guy used to play for Barcelona. He plays with uh, Dumbia at FC Sion. Centre defensive midfielder, 31 years old. And this guy had an overall of 70 and a potential of 70 as well. Now, obviously, there was a few more players, but they've got lower overalls, lower potentials, so I don't really cover those here. So now it's time to download and apply the latest update. So what you've got to do is go to the Customize tab, go to the Edit Teams, go to Download Updates, and there'll be a prompt. You press Yes, and then it'll apply the latest uh, players and also the stats as well to the guys. Next up, we're going to take a look at the players that got added with this update. So once you apply the latest update, these guys get added into the game. Now, for this section, most of the players come from the two new clubs that got added through title update number 14. If you missed that video, go and check it out. But basically, the two clubs that got added were Barcelona SC and also a club called Guarani. So it only makes sense to have many players from those clubs appear in this squad update. But there's also a few other ones that belong to different clubs as well. But I'm just going to go through the main highlights, the highest rated players here. The first one is Yamato Wakatsuki. He plays for Shonen Belmar. He's 17 years old, a striker, and he's got an overall of 55 and a potential of 78. Very, very average stats here. And his current value is 160,000. Next up is Dario Amar from Barcelona Sporting Club. He's one of the new players. 24 years old, a centre-back. His overall starts at 71. Potential is 78. Very, very average stats once again. Current value is 2.7 million. Next up, we have Tochi Chakwani. This guy plays for a club I'm not even going to try and pronounce, but he's 16 years old and a centre midfielder. And this guy has an overall of 55 and a potential of 78. His current value is 160k. Next up is Ramana from Club Guarani, one of the new players as well. 20 years old, a centre-back. This guy has an overall of 62 and a potential of 77. His current value is 575k. And then we have Rodney Redes from Club Guarani, left winger, 19 years old. His overall starts at 66, potential is 76, and his current value is 900k. And then we have Felipe from FC Sion. This guy's 19 years old, a striker, and he's got an overall of 59 and a potential of 76. His current value is 300k. And then we have Fidel Martinez from Barcelona Sporting Club. He is a striker, 29 years old, overall 75 and potential 75. Has some decent physical stats. Not too bad, you know, this guy for the 75 overall. Current value is 6 million. So those were just the main highlights. Obviously, the whole team of Barcelona Sporting Club got added and also Club Guarani, Guarani, whatever, they got added as well. So these were just like the higher rate of potential players and overall players. So next up, we're going to talk about the players that got their stats updated. So if you want to use these updated stats in career mode, you have to start a new save. The first player here today is Mbappe. This guy got a few upgrades to reaction, shot power, stamina, positioning, and volleys, and two downgrades to ball control and heading accuracy. He's got an 89 overall and a 95 potential, so that did not change, but he's a fantastic player already, and his current value is 84 million, and he's 20 years old. Next up is Mason Greenwood. This guy plays for United, 17 years old, and a striker. A few upgrades for him, including heading, short passing, dribbling, curve, Ball control, sprint speed, reaction, stamina. His overall also increased from 72 to 73, and he keeps the 89 potential. So he's looking pretty good. Current value, 7 million. Next up is William Saliba. 
playing at St. Etienne, but on loan from Arsenal. So this guy got a few upgrades to short passing, ball control, stamina, standing tackle, sliding tackle, and his overall increase from 74 to 75. His potential stays at 88, which is very good, and current value 10 million. Next up, we have Alex Merritt from Napoli. All his stats stay the same, except his potential it went from 89 down to 88. He keeps the 78 overall. His current value is 12 million. Mark Cucurella is up next, playing at Getafe, 21 years old, a left midfielder, on loan from Barcelona. Crossing went up, short passing went up, long passing went up, acceleration, sprint speed, and agility all went up. He keeps the 79 overall and the 88 potential. His current value is 17.5 million. Next up, we have Lafont, who is a goalkeeper, 20 years old, and this guy plays at Nantes, on loan from Fiorentina. So this guy keeps everything the same, all his stats except his potential. It went from 88 down to 87. But he looks pretty good already. Still very young, but his goalkeeping stats are pretty decent. So he'll grow for you. Good investment, this guy. 13 million is his current value. Next up is Serge Nabry from Bayern Munich. This guy is 24 years old, a right midfielder. A few upgrades here, including crossing, curve, long passing, ball control, acceleration, reaction, stamina, and more. A few downgrades to a few stats, but his overall increase from 84 to 85. And his potential stays the same at 87, which is fantastic. So he looks like a great player as well. A lot of greens there. Current value, 43 million. Next up, we have Dean Henderson. This guy is a goalkeeper, 22 years old. Currently playing at Sheffield United on loan from Man United. He got a few upgrades to his goalkeeping stats. They're okay at the moment. Needs a bit of growth there. But uh, reactions went up, diving went up, handling went up, positioning, reflexes. And his overall went from 78 to 79. And his potential is 87. His current value is 13 million. Next up is Traore. This guy is playing at Sassuolo at the moment. And he's 19 years old at Cam. A few upgrades to dribbling, curve, long passing, acceleration, sprint speed, agility, and more. His overall went from 70 up to 71, and his potential went from 86 up to 87. His current value is 4.6 million. And then we have Kabak, currently playing at Schalke, 19 years old at centre back. A few upgrades to finishing, heading, long passing, ball control, sprint speed, standing tackle, sliding tackle, and overall, which went up from 76 to 77. He keeps his 86 potential, and his current value is 11 million. Next up is Marco Kana, who plays for Underlect, 17 years old, a centre back, and all his stats stay the same except his potential. It went from 85 up to 86. He keeps the 66 overall, and his current value is 1.1 million. And then we have Radu at the moment playing at Parma on loan from Inter. He's a goalkeeper, 22 years old. And everything stays the same in the stats department except his potential. It went down from 87 to 86 now. He keeps the 75 overall and his value is 8 million. Next up is Mike Magnan who plays for Lille. He is a goalkeeper. A few goalkeepers appearing in this episode. Reactions went up, shot power went up, diving, handling, kicking, positioning went up as well. Overall went from 81 to 82 and potential stays the same at 86. His current value is 19.5 million. He's got some decent stats already. He looks pretty good. Next up is Diata, who plays for Club Bruges. 20 years old, a right midfielder. All the stats stay the same, except the potential went from 87 down to 86. Some dark greens there in the physical department. Only 20 years old as well. Overall 77, potential 86. I don't know if I said that already. 12.5 million is the value. And then we have Matondo, who plays for Schalke as well. Up next, 18 years old, a left midfielder. Crossing went up, short passing went up, dribbling went up, ball control, agility, stamina, long shots. His overall went from 67 up to 68, and potential went from 85 up to 86 now. Current value for him is 1.7 million. And then we have Sumare, who plays for Lille, center defensive midfielder, 20 years old. All the stats stay the same for him, except the potential went from 87 down to 86. His current overall is 75. His current value as well is 9.5 million. A decent upgrade for Brandon Williams, who plays for Manchester United. He is a left back, 18 years old. Short passing went up, dribbling, curve, ball control, shot power, aggression, interception, vision, marking, much, much more. His overall went from 69 up to 71, so two point upgrade. And his potential went from 84 to 86 now, which is good as well. Two point upgrade right there. Current value for him is 4.1 million. Harvey Barnes is up next from Leicester City. He's a left winger, 21 years old. All the stats stay the same for him, including the 78 overall. His potential was the only thing that changed. It went from 87 down to 86. His current value is 13.5 million. Harry Maguire is up next from Man United, 26 years old, a centre back. This guy got a few upgrades to interceptions, standing tackle, overall went to 83 as well, and potential went from 85 to 86. His current value is 26 million. And then we have Benjamin Pavard from Bayern Munich. This guy's 23 years old, a right back. Crossing went up, heading, dribbling, curve, ball control, balance, stamina, aggression, positioning, sliding tackles all went up. Overall went from 79 up to 80. Potential stays the same at 85. His current value is 15.5 million. Now one player that got a lot of changes was Nicolas de la Cruz from Nunes, 22 years old, a center midfielder. 
Heading went up, short passing, dribbling, long passing, ball control, reaction, shot power, and too many to actually name here, but there is a lot. His weak foot went up to four stars now as well, but his overall stayed the same at 77, and his potential stays the same at 85 as well. Decent physical stats already. Current value for him is 11.5 million. Next up, we have Yassin Adli from Bordeaux. 19 years old, a centre forward. All the stats stay the same. 70 overall, 85 potential now. It went down from 86. That was the only thing that changed. 3.5 million is his current value. Next up, we have Alvarez who plays for Nunes. He's a striker, 19 years old. Got some upgrades to finishing, heading, dribbling, curve, free kicks, long passing, acceleration, shot power, and much, much more. His overall went from 70 up to 71, and his potential went from 84 up to 85. Looks like a solid player. Current value for him is 4.6 million. And then we have Jeremy Fringpong from Celtic, a right back, 18 years old. All the stats stay the same for him. He's got a 68 overall and an 85 potential. His skill moves was the only thing that changed. It went from three star to four star now and his current value is 1.5 million. Audrey Zola is up next, 23 years old at right back. This guy got a few downgrades this episode. Reactions went down, aggression, interceptions, positioning, marking, tackling, composure. His overall also decreased from 80 down to 79, and his potential went down to 84 now as well. His current value is 13.5 million. Next up is Pinamonti, who plays for Genoa at the moment. 20 years old, a striker. All the stats stay the same for him, 70 overall, 84 potential now which went down from 86. That was the only thing that changed. 3.5 million is the value for him. And then we have a player from Bayern Munich, 18 years old, a striker. His name is Joshua Zerxi. And this guy's stamina went down, but his strength went up. Overall went up to 66 and potential went from 83 up to 84 now as well. His current value is 1.2 million. And then we have Joris Chotard, who plays for Montpellier, 17 years old, a center midfielder. A few upgrades to reactions, interceptions, standing tackle, sliding tackle. His overall went from 68 up to 69 and potential went from 83 up to 84 now as well. Current value for him is 1.9 million. Adama Traore is up next from Wolves, 23 years old, a right winger. He got a few upgrades to crossing, finishing, short passing, dribbling, ball control, stamina, long shots. His overall also increased from 77 up to 78, and his potential went from 83 up to 84. His current value is 13 million. And then we have Christian Fructel, who plays for Bayern Munich, the second team. 19 years old, a goalkeeper. A few goalkeeping stats went up, including handling, kicking, positioning, reflexes, and diving. Overall went up from 65 to 66, and potential went from 82 up to 83. His current value is 1 million. And then we have Fofana, who plays for Monaco. 20 years old, a center midfielder. A lot of upgrades for him, including short passing, volleys, dribbling, curve, long passing, ball control, and much, much more. And his overall went from 73 up to 74. Potential went from 82 to 83 now as well. Current value is 8 million. And then we have Carrasco, who plays for Nunes. He is a cam, 21 years old. A few upgrades to long passing, agility, reactions, balance, shot power, long shots, aggression, and more. His overall went from 72 to 73. Potential went up to 83 now as well. His current value is 6 million. A massive downgrade for Di Catalare, who plays for Club Bruges. The only thing that changed was his potential. It went from 86 down to 82, which is a massive downgrade to the potential, but his overall is 68. His current value is 1.7 million. So obviously not the full list, but just the main highlights. Make sure you check out this Fever 20 video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. I'll see you next time.